Hey legend, Fraser Brooks here, and in this video I wanna share with you one skill you're gonna need to master in 2023 and beyond. All right, so welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Fraser Brooks and I help network marketers from all over the world build their business using social media. In fact, I'm the best-selling author of three books, I Dare You, I Double Dare You, and Loser to Legend. These all are books to help you build your network marketing business using social media. So if you would like any of those books, go to the link in the description. I'm sure you'll be able to go check it out there. All right, so with that being said, if you haven't already done so, please smash the subscribe button so that you get notified every time we drop one of our weekly videos uh, here on the YouTube channel. We're on a mission to get to 100,000 subscribers and with your help, we can make that happen. All right, so let me tell you a story. I don't share this story very often, but inside this box is uh, my granddad's pen, right? So it's a very, very precious thing to me. Um, this is my granddad's pen. So my granddad, when he got married to my grandmother, he used this pen to sign the wedding certificate. And then when my dad was born, uh, he used this pen to sign the birth certificate. And he gave this pen to me. Uh, and he basically said like, Hey Fraser, I want to give you this pen. It's a very, very important. It's a very important. It's a very important pen. Um, and yeah, <laughs> please look after it. Uh, now here's the thing. That story was not true. Jimmy's laughing his head off. That story wasn't true, but here is the point. The story you put on an object determines its value. If I had just picked up this pen and dropped it, you'd have just been like, oh, he dropped a pen. But because I told you a story that it was my granddad's pen, he signed it, blah, blah, the, store, the, the pen, the object, now has a lot more value to it. So when you're building your network marketing business, a lot of you aren't telling a story to put on your business. You're not telling a story for your products. You're not telling a story about your community. You're not telling a story about the company. You're not telling a story about the system. You're not telling a story about the events that you're going to. So storytelling is the number one key skill to learn and master in 2023. I dropped the pen on purpose here. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's still trying to figure out. <laughs> so here's the, here's the thing, guys. You've got to master storytelling. What are the stories that you can tell and tell well? What are the stories that you can tell and tell well? Because when you tell good stories, you will encapsulate people. Encapsulate? Encapsulate is not a <laughs> Encapsulate? <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this video is not going according to plan, but we're going to keep it real um, and captivating. Yeah. You, what stories are you going to tell and tell well that's going to make people lean in instead of go, oh, this is weird? What are stories that you can tell that make people go, ooh, tell me more instead of, oh, no, this sounds like one of those things? What stories that you can tell that's going to help create curiosity instead of raising resistance? What's going to get people to lean in instead of leaning out? What's going to get people to get closer to you instead of wanting to get away from you? Storytelling is so important. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to create stories on a personal story. I want you to create a story about your product, a product story. I want you to create a story about your business, business story. And it would be amazing if you had like a mentor story, like an upline story something like that. So here we go. Basic one, personal story. So three years ago, I was this, 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 this. I, just, I came across something and I decided to make a decision. And this is what happened. This is what's happened, right? Don't be afraid to tell the details as long as you don't make the details boring. If you're going to share the details, you have a prop or you focus on something. So for example, if I was to just say to you, my granddad had this pen and he wrote my my he wrote his wedding certificate he signed the wedding certificate with the pen and he signed the document for my dad when my dad was born and he gave the pen to me it's rubbish but if you say like so so you see this pen this pen means everything to me because it's the pen that my granddad gave to me and it was the pen that he it's completely different it's completely different so don't be prepared don't don't be prepared sorry be prepared to share the details as long as you do it in a, in, a, in a way that's not very boring. 
all right? They say that if, if you're not boring, you can speak for hours and hold attention, but if you're, if you're boring, you can't speak for a minute until you've lost people, okay? So personal story. Second, sto second story is a product story. So I really struggled with X. I really struggled with losing weight. And then I was introduced to an amazing product. I was skeptical at first, but I thought, what's the worst that can happen? I was even thinking, wow, this product's so expensive. But everything I tried wasn't working for me, so I thought, I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm so glad that I did because X, Y, Z. Business story, similar thing. Three years ago, I was in a situation that I did not wanna be. My business had failed. I was just about to lose my job. My wife was on the way out and yeah, things weren't good. I was scrolling on social media. I just watched a funny cat video and the post after it was from someone I'd recently met online sharing her success about, net, about her network marketing business. I decided to get involved and I could not be happier because of X, Y, Z, right? And then a mentor story. Let me introduce you to my friend, Sarah. Sarah and I met on social media a few years ago and she tried to get me into the business that she was involved in and I was so against it because I thought, no way, I'm better than that, I'm bigger than that, I'm bolder than that, that is not for me. However, I kept seeing her travel around the world, I kept seeing her speaking on these stages, I kept seeing her mentor other people and I thought, if she can do it, so can I and I want to introduce you to Sarah because she's amazing, would you be open to that? See how stories are completely different? But when you're going live, are you telling stories? When you're giving three top tips, are you telling stories? When you're doing a keynote presentation and you've got 30 minutes, are you giving three points plus stories for each one? Or are you going, right, 30 minutes, I'm gonna teach them 37 tips to build their Instagram Reels. Ha, this is gonna be so valuable. Value is not the content, value is how you deliver the content right? Value is not the content. Value is how you deliver the content. I flipping love this new whiteboard interactive thing with all the colors and stuff, right? So if you've got 30 minutes, most people are like, right. And they do the major. They speak like this. Or they hold the microphone and they have a hand in their pocket. Hi today. Hey, hi everybody. My name is Fraser Brooks and today I want to give you the 37 top tips for how to build on Instagram. Tip number one is you need to do the, the, the. tip number two is you need to do this. Tip number three, is you need to do this. Tip number four. People, you've lost people at tip number three. Why? They're going, what was tip number four? Or you've got the 37, you've got the 37 tips on your, on your screen and guess what they do? They get their phone. This is not a phone, but I'm using it because my phone's not here. They get their phone and they go, Ch -ch -ch. Right, I don't need to listen to the rest of this because I've got the notes anyway. I'll figure the rest out. Whereas instead, as you go, hey, in today's presentation, I want to tell you a story of how, bum, 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 bum. One, two, three. Tell a story, tell a story, tell a story, and you're going to win. Storytelling is the key. Do it, do it well, and you will win. And if you would like more information about how I can help you win in your network marketing business with some scripts and a flow to tell better stories, go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash 101. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the link in the description. Go check it out. And you're going to be very grateful for that because it's a document that's going to help you massively. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you. Do me a favor, drop a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what stories you're going to be telling out of these four. One, two, three, four, or all of them. And then don't forget to smash the subscribe. And I'll see you next time on an upcoming video. Bye-bye.